So what can you tease for us that's coming up? Um, what, what's 106? I feel like there's a really good teaser um, for 106, obviously, in, in the, uh, I guess, in, when they showed 105 at the end, the little teaser they show where throwing a punch at someone um, that doesn't have a leg. That's, that's a pretty good teaser, I think, for the next episode. But um, I feel like for Jordy specifically, he's starting to kind of discover who he is and, and you start to see different sides of him that you know, maybe you weren't aware of uh, in the first couple of episodes. So, is that a, is that a good tease? Yeah. <laughs> is, uh, is Jordy more affected by his mom going away than he wants to let on? Yeah, I think so. And a lot of that, I feel like, was just my preparation. Because you have to be affected by it, but the truth of the matter is that Jordy is gonna do his best to stay strong and not let it affect him. You know, he was fine without it before she got there, and you know, he came up with this whole story that you know, she's dead, and I feel like he's kind of accepted that, and all along, even when she was there, there's got to be some doubt, and now I, I guess at the end of 105, when you, he starts finally to let in, and Dash is like, look man, she's here, she's ready to go camping. That's probably the moment that Jordy really believes that his mom's gonna be there. But then when he gets sick, and his mom isn't even able to just sit there and be with him, you know, he wakes up and she's gone, and he, he knows. And, um, and that was, I mean, I thought that was, you know, amazing. Just that Jordy was, Having to go through that, but at the same time, I don't know, me, I kind of saw it coming, but I guess that's kind of, obviously I saw it coming, I shot it before it, it, it came, but um, no, I mean, like, I, I, I felt like something like that was going to happen just because Jordy's so independent when he initially comes into the hospital, so, I mean, it affects him, but I feel like once she's gone, that's it, and he's not sentimental about it, he's ready to, to just keep on the course that he, he came into the hospital to take care of in the first place. Well, we do know he's sicker than he'd originally had thought. How will that be progressing in the episodes that you've filmed so far that we get to see? Um, well, he starts chemo. Um, and I, th I think, you know, you, you, I mean, you go through rounds of chemo. Um, so I think, I don't know, I think, I don't know if you really see him get worse. I think everything is really just going on inside him and nothing's really on the surface um, as far as him, you know, with the chemicals inside of him. But there are moments where I, he's, I mean, further down the line, like what we're about to shoot, both this episode and next episode, he's still yet to become emancipated. Like his mom signed everything, but he still has to like go through the rest of the paperwork. So, I mean, that's 109, and then, okay. and then 110, some more stuff happens where they're going to see if the chemo worked. So, um, so, I guess there is a progression, but there's kind of a, a lag in that, just because there's other storylines to take care of. What can you, um, sorry, sorry. <laughs> what can you tease about um, your interaction with Bella's character that's going to be coming, showing up soon? Um, I guess the coolest thing to tease would be music. Um, Jordy, <laughs> I guess, likes to play guitar. Right. As do I, as, as Nolan, I guess. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, you know, I don't know if you know or if anyone's established who Bella's character is, but big pop star or something. So, she comes in and I'm... There's an ulterior motive, um, so I'm befriending her, but and, and I'm not like weird about it. I'm, try, I'm not trying to like get dupe her, her but um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to get rid of her in a horrible manner. But um, no, I think that there's when you when you met with obstacles, you you find you find ways to get through it, and I mean in the hands that you're dealt. So. Play poker in the 104. It's <laughs> <laughs> bad. <laughs> the next episode's really big for the Jordy and Leo and the love triangle. Yeah. So, can you tell us sort of what the aftermath might be like after she makes the final decision? Um. Well, can I? I don't think 
I can tell you what the final decision is. Well, yeah, is. but like, is it going to change sort of the emotional landscape of the hospital? And I think it, I think it does. I think, I mean, either way, it's going to, it's going to hurt somebody and it's going to make somebody, you know, extremely happy. So. But will you and Jordy ever be able to be friends? Um. I feel like there's a, a trust that you have to build, especially after something that, like, especially after hitting somebody, like, and he doesn't have a leg, like, it's, <laughs> it's a bad thing to do when, I mean, I already, I already kind of, I mean, I'm pretty much adding injury to insult, and rather than insult to injury, because I get to keep my leg, he doesn't, um, as, but he thinks at first that it's a good thing or that it's a good thing for me and that I'm like fine now all of a sudden okay. it turns out that it's worse but then I end up hitting him but I feel like that just comes from Jordy being kind of a street kid and growing up um, by himself just kind of teaching him teaching himself the ways of, of the world um, but I feel like there's always room for friendship in a hospital. Getting emancipated costs money. Is Jordy going to have to do anything illegal to get the money? You know, we addressed that. Jackson in that moment where I don't have anyone else because when I come to the hospital I think I have Dr. McCann too he tells me he's not family I lose my mom and in that moment I have no one but then when I'm sick the next morning Jackson's there and I know like who she is and that she can be I mean I had my first interaction with her in the whole show was her yelling at us for going to get beer and condoms <laughs> and like taking a doctor's car out on, on the streets <laughs> illegally. Um, so I know who she is, but I feel like that's my family. Um, so I don't know if, his pro if her problems really affect him, but I feel like he does care for her wants her to be there for, for him and for everyone else. Now, which scene is the most difficult for you to film? The scene where you're sick or the scene with your mom? Um, well, there's scenes where I'm sick with my mom, so those are probably the hardest. <laughs> um, I think the thing about sick is, like, it's just, first of all, it's a lot of makeup. Um, they just, like, make me look pale and stuff, um, which is cool. And then they don't have to like blot me down because I'm a sweater, guys. So, <laughs> so there's like let me sweat on set. Um, but the scenes with my mom, it's just a lot of emotional back work and just preparing for the scene. And then, and then when you get to the scene, then you just kind of live and hope that whatever you worked on kind of just takes over. Whereas the sickness is just kind of uh, you just have to keep on reminding yourself like there's like a bug that you just like keep on swatting away type of thing so I feel like that's kind of harder to, to make to make true but um I mean is it hard I don't I don't know 
know, it's it's just it, to me, it's just fun and just exploring as much as I can into the realm of acting. <laughs> Do you feel like working on this project has changed your your views on life? Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, I'm so much more appreciative to you know every moment that I have, and that my problems seem so so small. Like working on a TV show, I can't. I mean, if I ever find myself complaining, like I have no right to be. Um, I have an amazing opportunity, and it's such a it's such a privilege to be able to work on a great show with a great cast and. I mean, it feels like we're able to make a difference for, even if it's a minute amount of people, you're still making a difference for that one person, and that could mean the world to somebody. So, I feel like the show is, has made me just more aware, and I've, I've grown up and matured in the last couple months that we've been shooting, which is, which is cool to kind of like grow up when you're around people that you're working with that you love that you care about you know they feel the same way about you so it's been an amazing experience and that's why I feel like Red Band is awesome